Hi everyone, this is Tita Esther. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribe. Since Christmas is just around the corner, today's episode number four is all about Christmas. The path of spiritual growth and life. I am trying to understand what is behind and write about it. Poetry has become a part of my life. In the Philippines, we are celebrating quite a different Christmas. Ferdinand, how is it yeah. here in Austria? What are all the traditions you have? We are lighting candles on the Advent leaves each Sunday or four times before Christmas. So today is number one. We are going to light the first candle. Yes, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's very exciting. In the Philippines, we have Santa Claus. Do you believe in Santa Claus too in Austria? No, in Austria we don't have Santa Claus. We have the Christ King, which mm -hmm. means baby Jesus. Okay. So baby Jesus is coming on Christmas Eve and bringing the presents to the children. So okay. before, the children, they are writing a letter uh, with all their wishes and put it on the, on the window and then uh, baby Jesus is coming collecting these letters yeah. and if the children are good and fine and uh, doing things well, they get the presents. Okay. Because in the Philippines, you know, the children are waiting on the 25th of December, so that's the time they will get their Christmas and it's Santa Claus is bringing it. So what will we read now from the poems you've written? Today, uh, the two poems have the title The Messiah yes, or okay. The Messias of Deutsch. Um, we are waiting now for the birth of uh, Jesus yes. at, uh, in four weeks' time. Mm -hmm. And each year the people are going back for this uh, waiting time when they waited for the Messiah. Mm -hmm. So, um, sometimes when I see all these celebrations of the royal families of the kings and queens in different parts of the world when they have a baby coming mm -hmm. um, then it's very exciting to see there are so many news people there the camera people and they send this throughout all the world and all the people are excited uh, how big the baby is and uh, if it's a boy or a girl so Jesus is a, was called king of kings and uh, I'm, some, I'm wondering because he didn't have this welcome. Yes. Uh, on the contrary, he was uh, persecuted. King Herod sent out his killing yes. squads to kill the firstborn. And he was born in a stable. Yes. So uh, I put my mind to it and then I wrote, some po I wrote poems about it, mm -hmm. uh, which is about Jesus' life and yes. the, the, with the title the Messiah because he's. Um, his uh, task and he's always connected to the Messiah, the mm -hmm. position and the task of the Messiah. Okay, that's a very good explanation of the birth of Jesus Christ. So now, let's read the poems. The Messiah by Ferdinand Blaschke. The Messiah is walking tall. He is bold and doesn't falter like a mighty tree. In angry winds, 
He doesn't waver when facing opposition and public indignation. Taking all the rumors, threats, and accusations thrown at him because his words and deeds are different from what expected. He wants to bring God's kingdom and speaks new words of wisdom for people do not listen. We want him to meet our thoughts and concepts for his ways are new and full of controversies so we do not listen, point our fingers, shout, yell and lie. We want to see him dead and disappear. We want to jail him and crucify. But he doesn't give up, keeps on going, always sacrificing and forgiving until his words find fruitful places, changing hearts and minds so that we can receive the love of heavens, creating eternal harmony, peace and happiness in all our circumstances. Yeah, the title, the title of the poem is The Messiah of Deutsch, Der Messias. Des Vaters Wort hat er gegeben. So brandet Sturm von allen Seiten. Tumulte, Diskussionen, Meinungsverschiedenheiten, Verleumdungen, Verwünschungen, Rufe nach dem Tod erschallen, nach Gefängnisaufenthalten. Mit dem Leibhaftigen soll er ein Bunde sein. Doch seht, er steht fest, er wanket nicht, unverrückbar wie ein Fels im Gischt, der vom Wind gepeitscht. Er gibt nicht auf, der Treue und der Liebe wegen. Von wo ist er gekommen? Im Stall war er geboren, mitten unter Ziegen, Kühen, Schafen. Zurückgewiesen wurde er, wer weiß, wo er geschlafen. Wer hat den Prinzen aufgenommen? Seine Liebe lässt ihn leiden für die Menschen, die ihn meiden. Sein Herz, es ist voll Pein, er möchte gern so vieles lehren, doch nur wenige erhören. Er ist bereit, sein Leben hinzugeben, um am Ende aufzuerstehen und als Sieger zu verkünden. Höre, sehe, folget nach. Und die Liebe Gottes ins Herz werde ich euch pflanzen, und euer wird das Reich des Himmels sein. Thank you very much for listening. This was uh, today's reading. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for sharing these wonderful poems with us. One more thing. Can you share another uh, childhood memories you have? Yeah, uh, especially I remember this time of the year when the advent started, it, it was already snow. It was uh, cold, we had fog and early winter nights. And uh, when you walk on the snow, the, the snow makes a noise. But also it was the time when my mother started baking cookies. Yes. And this was then, uh, there was a sort of a game. We were chasing these cookies because my mother always hid them somewhere because she knew we were Stealing <laughs> eating, eating the cookies, yeah. And um, so, and sometimes she she put them somewhere else when she found out that we found them. So yeah. this was going on until Christmas, you know. It was, that's uh, a nice, uh, yes, time, it's really, that's um, a nice memory. And one time I remember that my mother, that, that I found out because she, she, she I, I took the drawers out, then I went with my hand uh, on, um, from the top and I took the cookies out from the cupboard and then one day I did it, I took the door out and I went in with my hand and there were no cookies. <laughs> and the mother could, was yeah, I it couldn't believe it because she found out that I put it with so many cookies. Yeah. And then she found it out and then she put it somewhere else and then it was no cookies. Oh, that's just so, nice. Uh, I mean, when, uh, I, when I went out yes. of the room, my mother was yeah. <laughs> smiling, you know. It's like she knew what <laughs> <laughs> the, the poster was sort of wanted to
Yeah, this is always nice to think uh, about that uh, memories during your childhood. And, and okay, this is all for now. Thank you for watching, and don't forget, we'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Bye. And yes, and yes, advance Merry Christmas. Yes, yeah. Yes. And you, you have yes. also uh, Christmas. Mm. You go also to the forest to, because in the Philippines we also we prepare the Christmas. Yes. It's yes. even in October, November. This is Tita Esther. Thank you for watching Ferdinand's Poetry, Episode Number Four: The Messiah, First of Advent. If you are new in my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Maraming salamat at maligayang Pasko sa inyong lahat!